why was the first ever Women's World Cup shown on TV tape delay? The story in today's World Cup Daily. The World Cup has long been considered one of the most popular sporting events in the entire world, but it took until 1991 for women to get their chance to compete for a World Cup trophy. Even then, after years of discussion about the tournament, FIFA was hesitant to allow women to use the World Cup brand. The 91 tournament consisted of nearly 12 teams, with each game being only 80 minutes long. It was shown in the U.S. via tape delay on an obscure cable TV channel. The tournament lasted just over two weeks, meaning the two finalists, America and Norway, both played six games in that span. An unthinkable feat by today's standard. The U.S. knocked off the Norwegians in a highly competitive 2-1 final, a result that many Americans, including co-captain Julie Foudy, expected. It didn't matter what it looked like. It could be ugly, but that was, you know, that was the American way, and that's how we were going to play. For more on the incredible story behind the 91 World Cup and the rise of the U.S. women's national team, be sure to check out Throwback, SI's latest podcast series. Here's what else you need to know. The United States opened its 2019 World Cup this afternoon with a meeting against Thailand. The team is favored to win its fourth World Cup title and is looking to become only the second nation to win back-to-back crowns. Carly Lloyd, Alex Morgan, and Megan Rapino lead the team into this year's tournament, and head coach Jill Ellis expects her squad to perform like the team to beat. Kickoff is set for 3 p.m. Eastern time, following New Zealand's meeting with the Netherlands and Sweden's opener versus Chile. Be sure to check out SI.com and follow us on social media for World Cup coverage all tournament long.